Hello everybody and welcome back to Warptorial. In the last episode I was a bit um, upset about how the warp loaders are working, but I, I'm still upset about that, don't get me wrong. Um, but for now I think that the biggest problem is the bottleneck that we have on actually producing this, uh, these fuel cells. So I'll just try to speed things up and I'll keep an eye out on it. Um, missing repair packs and something got destroyed. I will try to turn on the alert volume maybe to a very low level. This alert volume, the, the sound it makes, it really annoys me. It actually causes me a bit of anxiety. So, I generally have it turned off. But let's see... Let's continue adding modules to this factory. For anybody that was screaming from the top of their lungs at me... Uh, why I'm not putting productivity modules in this one. I have no clue. I really, really have no clue. Uh, anyway, uh, let's solve the repair pack issue. Let's first of all take a peek, see... Really? There's no more warning? So I know that the, one of them will be low on repair packs. I thought it said on the robo on the um, robo ports how many repair packs they have in the system. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm just um, not remembering things well. This is a long distance to travel, though. Okay, and now we have the sign. It is the one over to the left. That's... I think it was this one. That's an easy one to get to. And I'm a bit surprised that uh, this one is missing repair packs. Is it still here? Yes. Well, at least I have confirmation that I'm going in the right direction. Um, maybe a bit of extra walls, extra turrets, and one, two, three, four repair packs. Should be plenty. I haven't seen any turrets destroyed. There is damage being put onto the turrets. And not... Not that many repair packs left there. So the problem with repair packs is... I might actually have to... Uh, use the warp loaders a bit more to deliver repair packs to my base outskirts. Uh, there we have it. We have more repair packs now. I'll give a few walls too. I wanted to have something closer to, to this spot. I'll even go as far as to put a few more bots in here. How many bots do we have? We have 
300 bots, so bots are not necessarily an issue. Um, they will devour these repair packs though. Oh, bots destroyed where? Not really where. I'll... Yeah. I was not able to see them in time, so... We'll deal with that a bit later on. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah. We will be missing speed modules for quite a while, but that's... That's not all that relevant now. What is relevant is the fact that I want to start increasing my production. Um, petroleum is still hanging in well. This is still producing, which is a very good sign where Something looks off. Um... I was kind of wondering why that... Um, why this was still being full. And well, now I know. I'm not gonna put a limit on them, I'll let them take as many as they're able to. Or build as many as they're able to. Oh wow, these are 50, 50 packs. It's quite huge. Uh, that was a most likely a misclick. So let's see. Uh, do I have the last one now? So let's um, let's set this to fifty as well from buffer chests and they might I'm not gonna set up the logistic conditions for now I might do that a bit just a bit later in this episode but well let's start do I have bots construction bots here no, I do not. Great. Let's start designing the smelting floor. And let's talk a bit about numbers. I need to get 1496 steel smelting furnaces, which means 1496 iron smelting furnaces at the very least. Uh, now I will be going I think just a bit over that number. Will if my calculations are correct at least. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. So for steel smelting I'm gonna be using this setup. Personal logistics, um, sure, I can let all of those go back for now. Or actually, uh, don't enable personal logistics just yet, let's design this. So, I'm gonna need an input chest and an output chest, that is, well, fairly that should be fairly obvious. 
Let's set the output chest over here. And I will be using fast inserters, so you're gonna be taking that one and so this is gonna build iron, this is gonna move iron over here, and this is this is going to move steel. I will also That's not good. That is really not good. Where? Uh, these bloody bastards. Are they destroying my base in multiple places? Yes, they are. Um, I will spend some time in between episodes to double down on the laser turrets. I don't think uh, it's that exciting to see me running around and I might um, actually do the full the full wall. Either that or just add another layer over here. I'll see. For now, I think I can safely ignore those. They must last words. So let's add the speed modules. And very important, let's so, uh, let's first of all go ahead and do that. Where's my power poles? There they are. So this is not going to be good enough, but I think once every two should actually be good enough. No, 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 no. You need to request things. From buffer chests, including inclusive. Um, They have filters now, and let's see how I want to place these. So if I place them like this, All the way over here. How many do I get? This is seven hundred and eighty four. Seven hundred and eighty four means that I would actually be getting. Three hundred twenty nine steel smelting furnaces and three twenty nine. Three ninety two. That means that I would be uh, using 3.8 of the factory floors. Now, I'm 
This actually looks quite nice. This actually looks quite nice, but I, I don't want to try. Can I really not ignore this? My only problem is with losing bots, because that means I'm losing a lot of repair packs. Is power holding? Power is holding. I'll try to ignore that a bit more. Um, what I want to see is how the, how this fits if I put it uh, like this. Mm. There is no mid... Well, there's only a one line middle here. One is it? It's this one. I will move this one over here like this. And let's see how many I get with this setup. So this would basically be it. I cannot, f I could try to fit another horizontal row here. Well, actually, let's, um, let's actually do that. That actually line uh okay that's a problem i need to take this and i think i need to move it over here like that yep and how many do we have here so i am curious to see I am curious to see how many I actually need. So as long as I have 374, 348, do I have 348 machines here? Um, let's, okay, let uh, me do that math once more, because I think I messed something up. So, 1, 4, 9, 6, if I divide that by 4, I get 374, and if I do times 2, it's 748. So, I need to have 748 machines here or above. That is good. <clears throat> so close. Okay, let's um, let the, let's get this back to four hundred. I'm losing way too many bots and subsequent repair packs kind of annoying that i cannot pick out when i'm in the factory floor i cannot pick out on the map and these are all missing repair packs now so this line has completely run out of repair packs that is a huge problem 
That's something that needs to be addressed now. I will go ahead and double down on the laser defenses. How many bots do I still have in the system? They did take out quite a few. Uh, I want to get rid of this. Um, since I'm here, I want to get rid of this uh, I'm extremely annoying alert. Get the radar, get this radar down, yeah, so I can see what's happening. Maybe flames will act, would actually help. Oh, definitely flames would help. I'm just uh, wondering how efficient they would be. So I would need to set them up. This somewhere around here, which means that I would need to get the last line of turrets removed. Uh, the biggest problem I have with flames is that my bots will try to repair stuff and then they will cook themselves up. Which I find really annoying. I find really annoying the fact that uh, bots, even though they're flying, they still get flame damage. Okay, this is working now. I will have a think in between episodes. For now, I'll just have to tough it out, I guess. Uh, was I ready to build all of this? I guess I am now. I'm pretty sure that the setup was right. Really? Okay, that is a problem. So, the reason why I didn't want to go for the full... Uh, for the full... Um, lane of... Uh, for the uh, for the vertical setup and one for the horizontal is that I do need to have roboports um, in here and furthermore I do need to remove some of them to get to get power in.
Uh, this will actually all be powered up. Oh no! For some reason I thought I need to remove them because this, these power poles don't reach that far, but they actually do reach. It is just about connecting everything now. I'll connect over here. And there's also one last thing that I need to do. And that is I need to figure out. I will have to sacrifice a few of these. Uh, to get uh, logistic coverage. Uh, let's see. I need plenty of those chests. And I also need plenty of th of these chests. 200 will not be enough, but it will be something. And there's another bot that... Okay, I need to figure out what's happening there, because I don't think that there's just random bots on the, on the map. Uh, getting permanently stuck, I think there's there's something more happening there that um, I'm not uh, I'm not fully understanding I need a lot of those inserters I need a lot of these inserters as well I purposely have just one power connecting point because I might need to disconnect this. I don't know how well uh, I'll be able to handle power or ports. That is very good to have. And I also want to get the electric Um, electric furnaces. Hello? Do I not have electric furnaces? Well, it seems like I don't. How many do I have in here? Not nearly enough. Power poles. Am I out of power poles as well? Yeah, I am out of power poles. So having just this one floor build should take care of most of the Most of the steel issues that we have, if this is enough to supply everything. Um, let's... Let's remove the buffer here. I actually do not want to have a buffer. And... 
Let's see. I want to have the chests. And power poles. Uh, logistics disabled. That's correct. Let's see if I have enough to build now. I, I will actually... Uh, yeah, there's no chance for me to collect all of, all of these bots without collecting everything that's around me. But I will... Uh, finally give up and get some bots some construction bots into into this network um, this should all be built now I have everything on the factory floor to not have to worry about um, Do not have to worry about um, uh, the setup being built. Well, I do not, uh, I do not have a few things, but this can stay at two thousand. I do not have. A Oh, this will actually put the prod modules as well. That's... Um, that's really concerning. But we can actually see our trains in action. Can these guys actually deplete? Uh, not really. I guess it depends on where the train is coming from. And also, I do not have enough throughput right now. Actually, that's just a quarter. That's just a quarter of the iron that we're gonna need. And this is a bit over a quarter. So these trains should theoretically be able to fully supply. Uh, well, uh, for now, until the buffer build, there's going to be a buffer built in over here as well. So until that uh, fully saturates, I will... Will not have enough. It is quite impressive. Let, let's actually try out. Let's actually try out. So I want... Um, This is 1000, this is 2000. Um, let's let's put this to 8k. Mm, 8k might be a bit too much. Maybe I don't want trains to be going with cargo back. And at the moment, they are almost definitely doing that. Yeah, I think that this looks good. Will, is my power going to be able to handle this? I probably also need to monitor UPS. Make sure that my computer is going to be able to handle uh, the bots. Uh, we had a few cap outs at 1.5. So may maybe I do need to go into, into building uh, flame turrets. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, gun turrets, I think they're useless. The only other... There's only two other defenses that we could consider. One is mines, which I don't think they're efficient enough. Six bots, that's um, 36 repair packs. I'm gonna be running out of repair packs fairly soon. Uh, the other one, the only two realistic defenses we have is flame turrets and artillery. So let's let's start producing both. 100 I think 100 is enough. And artillery, do I have everything for artillery? I don't know if I have concrete this uh, brought up to this factory floor I think I do because I need it for Uh, I did, but I did not have it in a chest, so this should bring it in a chest. Let's not forget to set the limit here. One hundred. That looks like a reasonably high enough number. And artillery shells. I will have a think about how I'm, how I'm gonna build artillery shells. So this is slowly being built. There's a few pairs, there's only a few pairs that have been built, which is rather unfortunate. Okay, uh, there is something that I'm, I still need to finish uh, over here. And that is, I need coverage. I need to set up a uh, warp port coverage over in this area and there's also uh, a few all of these um, inserters need to get a dedicated power pole I don't, uh, no, I, d I do have the same problem over on this other side. Now, the big question is, will the bots be actually be able to handle all of this? I will do similar to what I've done in the other place and I think it's this one. And the one right above the bottom row. I need to get the iron ore out. Uh, the irony is real. The irony is very real. 
Well, by now I think that my trains would have... Oh no, they're still... They're still running at full throttle. I still have plenty of trains in the in the buffer here. And... I'm keeping up with loading them. I did see something interesting. Um, so I'll put just one more uh, train signal here. This, the train was not leaving the station until it was um, uh, clearing up this, this whole segment. Uh, yes, obviously I need more war ports. Oh, that's so painful to see. Uh, trains are doing fairly well on fuel, which is um, quite encouraging. Buffer seems to be holding well. Now, I am a bit concerned of about how much this is going to throttle. But I guess it's all about how many bots I have in here and how fast. Yeah, they're down to zero bots. So the idea is how fast can bots queue up to clear the chests. And more and more of those are starting to work. So that's uh, really great. Did I put things... I keep dropping uh, modules onto... onto my Strider, which is really annoying. But that being said, I think this is a good place to make a cut in this episode. Um, I will be um, doing a couple of things off camera, so basically I will just be fortifying my my perimeter wall because I'm we are losing way too many way too many bots right now, and that includes repair packs. So I will have to figure out a proper way to do that. Uh, I'll have a good think in between episodes and. Um, yeah, at least double down on laser defenses and maybe put in the flamer turrets. And I will continue with, with the base build in the next episode. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you here next time.